Still ahead here on Today in New York, a new off-Broadway show is billing itself as the first family musical about disability. We're going to sit down with the producers and some of the puppets <laughs> of this show. We'll talk about it coming up next on Today in New York. Well, there is a new musical off-Broadway with a special message for kids and families, really for all of us. Addie and Uno asks, what if goodness ruled the world? And the show's all about kindness and understanding people with disabilities. Producers Tom Dengora and Anastasia Samosa are here to tell us more. Welcome to all of you and your friends. Oh, our thank friends. you for having thank us. Thank you for coming in, Tom. It's good to see you both. So good to see you. Tell us about this play. It's, it, I, I, we're uh, Actually, next month is uh, National Disability yes. Awareness Month, uh, and the show runs through March, but mm -hmm. we want people to be able to see this show and come to it with a vision. What was your vision in bringing the show to the stage? Well, um, Dr. Nava Silton mm -hmm. wrote uh, this show, and then uh, a composer named uh, Bonnie Gleicker wrote amazing music for it. And uh, they ran it for a small period of time at the 14th Street Y. Mm -hmm. And I was told about it, and I went to see it. And uh, I watched the children watch it, and I just watched their faces. And then afterwards, <clears throat> a child raised their hand and said, excuse me, I used, I used to be mean to children with disabilities, but you, I get now that difference is beautiful, and I was sold. I said, oh my goodness, I have to bring this uh, to the off-Broadway stage so everyone can see it, and I have to bring my girl Anastasia on board. Let's talk about it, Anastasia. <clears throat> well, you may recognize Anastasia, if you don't, from the 2016 Democratic National Convention, stole the show yes, on did. day one. It's so good to have you here. You've been an advocate for so long. Um, how important is this to see this kind of, of musical on Broadway? It's incredibly important because not only does it teach all children about love, kindness, and friendship, and it also has a fabulous fabulous anti-bullying message, oh. but it allows children with disabilities to be able to see themselves for the first time on a theatrical stage. When I was growing up, there wasn't a show like this, so that's one of the most important reasons why we have to support it and get people to fill the seats. Well, tell us about the story of, of, of uh, Addie and Uno. Okay, so it's a musical. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's a hilarious musical <laughs> um, about Uno. This is Uno. Uh, Uno is a brilliant mathematician mm -hmm. who also happens to have autism. Mm -hmm. And Uno's fr best friend, Addie, enters him in a math competition called Math Mania mm -hmm. to win a shiny new red bike. But Uno's really nervous to compete because he's, af he's afraid of the crowds and the lights and the loud noises. So his amazing group of friends who also have disabilities join together to help lift him up and to overcome those obstacles. And spoiler alert, Uno wins the day. All right, of course yeah, he he's does. He's a hero. Oh, this, he's a hero. This, this show so <laughs> it wins Isn't the day. Isn't he the cutest? He is adorable. And this is RJ. This is RJ, RJ <clears> who here. sings the most beautiful song. Mm. And uh, Brent Jones is the, is the actor who plays RJ. Mm -hmm. And he has the most beautiful Broadway caliber voice. And he sings a song after the bullies break his rocket oh. called Watch Me Fly. I have wings on my back, mm. you know. Um, every time I see a shooting star across the sky, I look at it and think, if it can, why can't I? Mm. And the first time I saw it, all I could think of is my bestie here. Mm. And shooting does, star. Because she flies. <laughs> she and, does. And uh, it's so beautiful and so moving. And it's just such a universal message of inclusion and acceptance. And it's fun. It's, it's really funny, and it's right? it's fun. And it's uplifting. And in these times especially, do we right. not need to embrace our differences and learn to Yes. Love? Am I right? Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So the show runs through March the, it's extended. I will run it forever. Oh. If we can find an audience, we'll run it forever. Okay. <clears throat> and I will do, if, you know, if, if we can find an audience, I will do this till the end of time. Um, every week, you see a child's life changed. I'm not exaggerating. She, um, tell her about the first time you went and there was a boy with CP in front of you. The first time there was a little boy with CP in, in front of me and when he saw RJ sing, this, uh, sing the song Watch Me Fly, you can see him trying to jump up and down in his wheelchair because like I said, he finally saw someone on the stage that looked exactly like him. So, I mean, a little baby boy. That's and that happens, uh, yesterday there was a boy with ADHD, who, which is also what Addie mm -hmm. has, mm -hmm. who his father introduced him to Addie and said, I want you to talk to Addie to learn that you are smart and you are special. And the boy just hugged the puppet and wouldn't let go of the puppet. And 
You know, it's it's really just it, it's so cliche, but, but it's changing it's lives. Changing lives, and, and it's we, fun. And it's fun. It's and not it's preachy. A beautiful representation. And everyone involved cares so deeply. This is not your usual theatrical endeavor. Well, the cast is so young, but they're so talented and, and so passionate, passionate yeah, about can, the cause. You can see that. Everyone see is. That. The director, Donna Drake. Everyone. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for bringing this to us this morning. Again, Addie and Uno is at the Kirk Theater. Yes, and, on 42nd and, uh, Street. www.addieanduno.com. Dot com. All right. Thank you both so much. Thank you. We Great love you. Great to see you. We love you back. Thank you, RJ. Um. He's quiet. All right. Next to 730, we'll have the latest on our top stories, Gus.